Yeah. What's good, bro? Ain't shit. Chilling. Man, right. appreciate appreciate you taking the time to talk with me, man. Um, always like to ask, how are you and your your people doing? How the kids doing? Everybody doing great. Hanging in there. Staying busy. Right. Nah, you still on. Nah, you stay busy, man. I mean, you dropped an incredible project last fall. I see you doing all, uh, all these t all these features. You got that murder with Jack Boy. That was tough. That yeah. big dog with with Fresher. Uh, the yeah. joint that you dropped with uh, Hit a J Three today. That shit mm -hmm. was crazy. And then that stress record uh, that you dropped a couple of weeks ago, man. You you just talking some real stuff on there. What what else did you have going on before the pandemic started? Um, a lot, a lot, but um. Um, it is what it is. I'm still working. I'm still making things happen. Um, still making music. So I'm just going to keep dropping music. Hopefully one catch. Man, what you talking about? Hopefully one catch, man. You got a bunch <laughs> catch, bro. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know, son. I ain't get a hit yet. That coming home record was a hit. Tell that to, tell that to the people that need to hear it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can speak well for I can speak on it from Pandora. It did well on Pandora. Yeah, shout out to Pandora. They always been rocking with me too. Yeah, it did. It did. It did well on Pandora. So you are a uh, heavily favored Pandora artist. Well, that's dope. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. Nah, definitely. But uh, let, let's talk about the stress record, bro. Because when I listened to it, it was it was very powerful. You opened up on there. What what made you do it? Um, that was my mood at the time. I just, usually when I'm, when I can't figure out what's going on in my life, I usually don't go to the studio. But then I just was like, you know what? Let me go to the studio and let people know what's going on in my life. So it was kind of that, that, that was something I usually don't do that I did. And I'm happy I did it because. I love that song. It was dope, bro. It was definitely, uh, definitely gave us some insight to what was going on. Did you feel like a weight was taken off of you when you made that? Um, yeah, I think, I think I kind of showed people I'm, I'm normal. You know, a mm -hmm. lot of people tend to think rappers are not normal. This big crazy bag is in the air and. It's four point something million hours with no losses, just wins, wins, wins. I think I kind of like made myself reachable with that. Nah, it, it was definitely real, man. Uh, do you think you're gonna do more records like that? Oh, definitely. I got, I got, I got some in the cut. I had a record like that. It's a hard record with the baby. Actually, it's coming. Okay. Out. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I like, you know, I think stress is a good look for you. Um, it shows your versatility, you know what I'm saying? Records like that, coming home, uh, the joint you and Jeremiah did. So, you know, I, I think you're on to something right there, man. And Thank and you. the hit, the, the hits will come naturally, brother. But you've done. <laughs> <laughs> you've done plenty Thank of hits. So, um, but are we going to get a project this year? Hopefully, man. We might have to tie somebody at Rock Nation up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I definitely want to drop something this year. Hopefully, um, my label is with it, and then we just shoot for the stars. How's your label doing? My label is fine. Everybody's on my label. It's cool. What kind of what what kind of artist do you look for as somebody that runs your own label? A go getter. Uh, somebody I don't complain and just make things happen. I don't want to babysit nobody. I feel like I feel like Rock Nation don't babysit me, so I shouldn't be babysitting nobody as an artist. Like I want you to put that work in yourself. Go record yourself. Come back. So, you know what I'm that makes sense, man. How do you find the balance between being a label owner and an artist? Because sometimes, sometimes that can be challenging. 
Um, I don't think that's hard. I think it's harder when your artists get a song and it's time to move around. And now it's like I can't record because I got to be over here. But uh, they didn't get to that point yet. Okay. No doubt, bro. Well, I want to get your perspective of the situation with George Floyd up in Minnesota. I mean, it's it's been on my mind. It's been on countless other people's minds. Um, obviously, you've had your dealings with the criminal justice system mm. in this country, and it you know the reality is it it don't look it's not favorable with people that look like us. Um, mm. So I, I want to get your perspective of the situation as far as like what your reaction was and. What do you think we can do as a people to affect change? Because this is an ongoing issue. Man, so I don't want to touch that subject because I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I think I'm on some mock mech shit right now. I'm on some mm. Black Panther shit right now, man. Um, it's scary. It's scary because even me, I don't even want to get pulled over. Like, that's real. I, I feel like if I'm, you know, I live in a great neighborhood. It's like, man, if I get pulled over, shit might be spooky. So, what should I do? Should I just keep driving until I get in front of my apartment? Hmm. Or uh, keep driving until I get in front of my house? Or uh, like keep driving until I get somewhere out in the open? And fuck it, get the ticket. But just like, just keep driving. Like, fuck it. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't want you to put me over. It's dark over here. Right. I don't know, but it's it's spooky. And I think until it's an eye for eye, this shit ain't. I'm. I like what they're doing. I like it. I wish I was a part of it. Man. I wish I was setting shit on fire. And I wish I was a part of it, man. I I feel good to see. Like, he's not dying in vain. You know what I'm mm. saying? These people that are begging for their life but still got to die are getting beat up by police for social distance, social distancing. Yeah. And they, they don't have on no mask either. And they're not social distancing. Like, I don't I don't get it. But um, I love what they're doing. That's what I'm going to say. I love what they're doing. <laughs> Whoever, they, whoever, <laughs> if they need me, I'll fly out, man, and put in some work <laughs> with my little mask on and go back. I knew it was real up there when they managed to burn the police station down. Like, I ain't never seen no stuff like that. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen, you know, we've seen our fair share of riots and looting in other cities. But when they showed the police station, like, they got to the police station, they, they were serious up there. Mm hmm so that's dope. That's dope. <laughs> that's yeah, dope. Man. Seriously, God forbid, I, I was a die. I would want that same thing. Like, get that nigga. Get him. He shouldn't be safe for the rest of his life. Ever. That's the only way I think people are gonna be like, nah, we're not doing that again. You saw what happened last time. Mm. Just just get off his neck. Get off his neck. Calm down, sir. They gotta have a little bit more patience with us. Until 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 then, just keep our, our fingers crossed, man. That's real, brother. That's real, man. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up with my quarantine questions. What's the best thing you've watched since we kind of been on lockdown? The best thing I watched since lockdown. Mm hmm Jazzy! <laughs> what's the best thing I watched since What's the best thing I watched um since lockdown? What movie? Huh? Ozark? Oh, Ozark's the show. Yeah, the show. I watched that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that was tough, man. Have you tried cooking any new foods? Everybody's a quarantine chef right now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Nah, I just get the chef and let them do what they do, man. I ain't, I ain't trying nothing crazy. <laughs> no doubt. My last question, my brother. What's the first thing you're gonna do once it's safe to move around outside? Um, 
Let me see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I ain't gonna lie. I miss a good little lounge. Like, I'm gonna go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get a, uh, I'm gonna go to the spa, get a good massage, <laughs> get pampered, go to the sauna, get pampered. I wanna, I wanna treat myself. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Well, bro, again, I appreciate your time. You know, keep doing what you do. And once things open up and you come down to Atlanta, come through to the Pandora office so we can chop it up in person, man. Let's do it. All right. I, I my brother, be easy.